Hello and welcome to Ferret Labs. It's time for some of this. Hey guys, Future Dino here. So, what you're about to see is a live recording of me making some avatars and some bits for you guys that are streaming out there. Now, oddly enough, I did have actually I actually had an issue while recording it. I wasn't aware of it until afterwards, but it appears every time I was in this format, where you could see me on my webcam, there was no sound. It turns out this is actually by design, something I set up a while back because I was trying to do something and I forgot to switch it back on, which is my mistake. Um, and here we are. So, to write, take you through a rough, quick list of programs that I use to make or edit software such as or edit images so software i use essentially um i use inkscape and i use what is called gimp so that's graphical image manipulation tool or actually graphic image manipulation program uh, we'll get it right it is both of them are free okay so one inkscape is a set sector graphics program it is designed for use in marketing and that sort of thing so it's designed for you guys to be able to create something you can expand out you can create it as large as you like which is great gimp is made it's it's a free variant of photoshop so i use it because that's what i started using before i got introduced to, to photoshop which is fine um with that i'm now going to take you through part of what I did that, that day. So I've removed the old us sitting here talking about this and we're going to go through it now. Essentially, to capture an image, the easiest thing to do is sit here like this with your webcam on. You are doing this because you're streaming, which means you have streaming software open. You have to. You must have. Always, how do you stream? How do you record what you're doing? So, I made an assumption there, and maybe I shouldn't have made that assumption. You will need your recording software, OBS, whatever. The other thing I use, the other thing I use is the snipping tool. It's built into Windows 10. If you're not using Windows 10, you'll need to have some form of capture for the graphics. Okay? What I do inside the, in the video in a few moments is I'll go like that, and basically, I snip it at that point. The snipping tool, then I use the image and we go on from there. Okay, without further ado. So as you can see at the moment, I have the YouTube channel. And well, I've got OBS open. I've got my web link that I use for Twitch for Beginners. Group on, the, uh, on Facebook that I belong to. Lots of nice little hints and tips going on there, guys. Really do recommend having a join, have a look on Facebook, get yourselves out there and meet people. Networking, follow for follow doesn't really work. It'll get you to affiliate and then you'll just die. Um, in the sense of, you know, your stream will just not get the views that you're supposed to. You need to grow and you need to grow properly and have people actually want to watch your stream. So hopefully, you know, that's my opinion, obviously. So that's my, you know, it's up to me. So. Uh, yeah, you can see the infinite OBS going on here. There is a reason. And the reason is this. I'm going to hit webcam. So I can see me. Okay. So this is just so I can get the picture. So if you're streaming and you want to be streaming, you must be using stream, OBS, Streamlabs, OBS, Twitch, whatever. Which means at some point you have to have your camera on screen. Okay. Bit, a little bit odd for most people. I have two cameras. I have one here. And I have one here. So the one that is here, I'm going to move ever so slightly and I move around. Which means that over here on the stream, you guys will now have seen me move on this camera. <laughs> Did This setup is literally for this, okay? So, here I am. Here's my pictures. Turn the light on to stop some of this. Uh, and I should hopefully... Yep, maybe that'll do. Right, so, down here I have which you now can't see, I have got Snippet open and I'm just going to go like that 
There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to snip it myself. And then we're going to go back to the main screen. Which is here. And now you'll see a picture of me going, oi. So, a little bit of chaotic because you can't really show both. I have the new version of Inkscape, so Inkscape 1.1 apparently. Uh, who knew? And you can see I do quite a bit of Inkscape. I have a lot of mess on my desktop. Yes, I'm an anime fan. Suck it. Yeah, just deal with it, boys. So, I have my photo. I don't need to save it. I don't need to do anything else to it. I just need to paste it into there. So, copy, paste. You can do it through either quick keys, control C, control V, or you can do it through the uh, edit functions in both areas. Copy, uh, well, in this case, paste from there and copy from here. So, you can just do copy and then you can just do paste and it'll paste me another copy in there. There we go. And I can delete that around. Right, so that is that bit done. So, we now have the bit we're going to try and destruct. All right. We're going to deconstruct it and we're going to make ourselves a logo of some form. So before I go too far in, I need to go to layers and I want you guys to add a layer. Okay, and that's going to be image. And this, this is actually to help us out in the long run uh, from where the layers are. So we can switch off what we're drawing and what, what we're looking at. We can also lock this one. So now we... Even if I select this, it will do nothing. It won't let me pick anything out of there, which is what we're after. So we're going to go back over here, sling mode. Yeah, no, actually, no, that's fine. Right, so now we've got our rough idea. There are a couple of things I want from this. I want to get my hand with the big P. Look at you, buddy. You know, and I want to get a face and general design. So what we're going to do... This this one here, okay, will allow you to draw however you want. Okay, you can bend it, you can shape it. If you don't like the bend, you can go in. You can do it. You go. Oh, I want another one in there. I can do that. I can bend it any which way I like. Like all things, it takes practice. So whilst I may zip around and do something really really quickly, don't panic, guys. Just take your time. It's going to take some time to do. So I'm just going to do some points. So I'm doing the bits that I think are going to be the points I need to be aware of. So basically knuckles, bits of fingers. And remember, we're trying to get some form. Right, there we go. So now we can switch off. This layer, and you can see it's really crumpled. It's not, not going to look like what we want it to look like, which is fine. Switch this back on. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over to this one now. So this is the edit paths. This is classed as a path. I'm just going to edit her out a little bit, and we may have to put another one in there, which we will. We'll do that. Like that. So bring a view in. And remember, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just, I'm being a little bit pedantic. I can't deny that. I am. Um, always have been. Always will be. Just going to move that one slightly out there. Yep, like that. So that one, I want to get rid of that one. That's going to be in the way. So like that. Don't forget, you, you've got these, you've got these areas on both, so you can move them around. You can get that curve the way you want it. And the idea here is just to be happy with what you're going to get, and be happy with how you've designed and what you've designed. Let's have a look at this. What we've got here. Got to bring that in a. Oh, got to bring that in. Uh, bringing you out a little bit. There we go. Bring you down. Oh, that's. Double selected. I hate it when it does that. Get out of it. See, and by by all means, guys, if it's not, you know, 
I don't think there's really a one one size fits all for this sort of stuff, but I'll bring that in. Just bend that that way a little bit. Actually, you know what? If we if we mm, tough one. Do that. We're gonna bend that one there like that. We're gonna bend this that way. Point that out of the way. Point this out this way. Okay, we're gonna give a bend in that one. We're gonna latch that point to there and bend that as well. Okay, so now if I switch that off, what have we got? Yeah. We're not getting the pointed bit but we've got some of it. So what we can do now is we'll go from here to well actually I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go here. Okay, it's that simple, and we're just going to draw around, just going to draw around the lines. And we can, we can extend that one out if we want to, a little bit like that. Alright, and there we are. And at the moment, all we're doing is we're just adding in accentuation lines. We'll just accentuate it. There you are, that's a little bit more. We're getting there now, we're getting there. So I just add another one in. And what I could do is I could go like that, which is, you know, back to your nail. <laughs> Effectively a square. <laughs> That's easy. Just going to bend. Bend these slightly. And we'll bring that, that one that way. There we go. There we are. Right. And you can see we're, we're, we're kind of getting an idea of where we're going with this and what we're going to try and do. I'm going to do the same here so we can just uh, one there, one there, I'm going to put one here, another one there I think. Uh, we can probably put the knuckle in there, there we go. Something like that. I'm going to put that line, that line, alright. Come on. Let me move it like yours. Okay, so we're going to move that bit over a bit. We're going to move this bit this way a little bit. There we go. Right. Now we probably, 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 if I go get that one. One, something like that, there we go. Come on. Like this. Something like that, there we go. Right, we switch back off again. There we are, we've got the... We've got the kind of you. We're after you, buddy. We're after you. We we can do bits with that. So we now got bits that we can work with, and we can we can look at. So if I now select the main part, the underlying bit, I can now effectively color it in. I can put it to whatever. I don't know, what is I do close enough. Okay. So now we can put that back in. And we, we, we now have a U bit. What I would do at this point, and this is why I'm going to do, is I'm going to do that. Select all, so just drag a box over everything, making sure you've got you've got this one selected. It's always better, the selection tool. Select over everything, control, G. That now makes that one group. We can move it out of the way. Don't need it where it is. We can move it, shove it, put it wherever we want. That's fine. That's beautiful. Okay. Now we're looking at everything else that we've got here. We need to work out how we're going to do the rest of our logo. So I might want that in a bit. Decide I want to do something different. So right, we need to do the same sort of thing again. Now, for me personally, I I find doing some of this just gets a rough idea in 
of what we're after. So something to be aware of, there is a click function, there, there is a uh, snap to grid function. It drives me nuts sometimes. So let me just switch that off. Yep, we've got some, some of those. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's me the head. Right, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to bend. Come on. Go bend this slightly up. Bend that one slightly up. Go bend this one ever so slightly inward. Actually, I think. Do they just uh, go out? Go out. We'll bend that outwards. And remember, we don't need to have a massive curve on these. We really don't. Okay, so now I've done that, I can select this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to find properties for this. Uh, there it is. So fill and stroke. That's what we're after. Fill and stroke. Go stroke. We can set paint. We can set paint away. Whatever we want. And it changes the colour. I'm going to keep that as black. But I want to go stroke style. So I want to take. I'm going to round all the edges off. Because I don't want a sharp point. But I also can now change the thickness. So if I put in two. There we are. I've just drawn my glasses in one stain. Boom. Job, job. I think we're going to, going to shrink that down a little bit. And uh, 1.5, that looks nice. Right, so now we know that 1.5 is what we're going to use for all the glasses size. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Again, in here, 1.5. Firm. So the other thing you can do at this point is you can select the box and as you notice we're doing stroke, we're not doing fill. At the moment, fill is nothing. If we put fill in, we can black out these two, which is brilliant. That's going to, that's going to be lovely. What about these bits of the glasses here? Well, what we actually want is we want to put that into fill. I'm going to select like a, a slight grey. Yeah, something like that. That's perfect. And then I'm going to take the alpha down. Why? I, go, I, I know you guys are asking why. If I go here and uh, let me hit fill. Come on. And we just colour her in like that. I'm not sure why I've now got two bands of that, but there we are. Right, I'm going to fill that in like that. Okay. If I drag this over like that, at the moment it is above the picture. Page down, it now puts it behind the picture, but doesn't hide it. If I select this and I turn the alpha back up, it will disappear. If I bring it in, I can make the shadow as though I'm wearing glasses and you can see something behind the glasses. We're going to keep that like that, just because, why not? <laughs> just goes there. And again, we can see this one. Oh, we, we can just draw, I don't know. I will say this for you guys. If you guys want to get a circle like this drawn, so this is perfectly a circle for yourselves, up here, change RX, RY. Those are this point and that point. Okay, the top left, uh, left and top. The one on the right, allows you to draw a half part of the circle, Pac-Man, whatever you want to do. Okay. There we go, back to normal. Oh, I've just like I want that by four, by four. And that now should be a perfect circle. I'll even put that in there, put it behind. There we go, we've got that in there. I didn't put the bridge in. I need to put my bridging. So, this bit on my glasses. For those of you that aren't aware what a bridge is, I really hope you are. All right, this one I've done a little bit different. So, I'm going to put this one up to a three. And we're going to round the corners off. You know what? Too far. I need two. Two. Perfect. And the reason I've done this is because 
but probably I've had to move this around a little bit. Might have to switch that off. Okay. You know what? That will be fine. I reckon that'll be perfect for what we're after. I think that's going to do everything I need it to do. Probably need to look at these glasses points over here. So I'm going to point these up a little bit. Do the same this side. Get a little bang. Okay. Circle it out. I mean, this is actually, you know, this is just a, my preference of how I would do it. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. You really don't. Uh, right, we should still have back on. I'm back in the picture again. Uh, horrible. Right, I'm gonna come down. Do three points. Or four points. Ah, uh, okay. Gonna switch the picture back off. And now we're gonna again make some changes. Where's the view? They are one nose. Nice and EDA, guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing too mad in this at the moment. We are going to do some layering and bits and bobs in a minute, but at the moment we're trying to get the the rough idea of what we're doing and where we're doing it. So let's switch this back on. Mouth. Could do this in two parts. Not going to. Do this like this. Yeah, it looks hilarious. Always does. That's standard stuff. Right. Bring that in a little bit, I think. Bring that one up. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll curve that in a little bit. And remember, it doesn't have to be exact, guys. We don't... It doesn't have to be absolutely spot-on, friggin' perfect. It doesn't have to be. You don't need to. It's not. That's not what this is about. Alright, next bit. I'm going to bring this up. So you notice I'm doing everything but my hairline. I'm not actually doing my hairline, I'm ignoring my hairline at the moment. There we go, right. Perfect. That's what we're after. That is exactly what we're after. So we've got the fill. Oh, well, actually, what we're going to do is we'll switch off the layer. And you get the idea. We're going to get, get some of the idea now of what we've done, how we've drawn, what we've drawn. So, this bit is going to be at the very far back. We're now going to go in here. We're going to fill it in. Do the pick at all, because I've already got it. There we are. I'm going to send it all the way back. There we go. So that's now at the very back of the picture. It is the is the main part of the picture. I don't think I've ever looked any worse than in that picture, but hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, edit this now. I'm gonna give myself get those jowls in. Yeah, there we are. And remember, we aren't. No one is perfectly symmetrical in their face. Um, And whether people like it or not, some of us have very large foreheads or very little hair. Whichever way, whichever way you want to go, whichever method, <laughs> whichever opinion you've got, meh. I'm gonna set this one. My nose. I can leave. I can leave it like that. I can leave it with just that in there. I could do something artsy fartsy if I wanted to. Make sure that we're all fill. Still have all fill. We've got a gradient. We can edit the gradient, click down, so that's now the invisible layer. If we now click back up, we now have control of the darker layer, which means I can do that. And I can just add a slight shade. Doesn't mean a lot to you guys. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it doesn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter at this point. We can do the same over here, and we can click the same one. Only problem is, it's now going, oh, you meant to shade us. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, we're gonna undo that. Like that. And we end up with shading. We'll leave it at that. That's fine. So now, now what we've got is we've just got to add in our body and we've got to add in our hair. 
So obviously with my photo, the image I used, the photo's not I'm not gonna show too much of my hair. Um I have got very thick neck, obviously, and we need to make some changes and a little bits and bobs here and there. So let's get this tool back out again. I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna go out here, uh, there, 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 and then back to here. Alright. And remember this is just this is just you do you do you guys. You don't have to do what I'm doing. In the sense of I must look this way. You don't have to. You don't have to. Bit Bob Rossi, but we all, we all ought to be a little bit happier in our skins to be fair. I'm gonna bring that in. Bring that down a little bit. Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Right. Now I'm just gonna go right I want there's my hair. Boom. Okay, nice. Perfection. Again, up here, down here. I'm gonna go over here, down here, down here, there, and there. And again, we can just bend these bits out. I'm actually gonna move that that way. I'm gonna bend that way. This just gives you guys a bit of an inkling as to what you could do with Inkscape for a start. Because I think there's a lot of mysticism that people put out there about, well, not just Inkscape, but also stuff like Photoshop, GIMP. There's loads of them. There's so much stuff out there that just goes, oh, we could do this. And it's like, well, yeah, you could do. But no one ever takes the time to show you what you want to know. Which is always a little bit upsetting from my point of view, but it's from me. Uh, I get I get very annoyed sometimes with uh, with some of the stuff. You ought to just go and do this. How? How do I do that? Oh, no one's going to show me. Oh, okay, now I've got to try and work it out on my own. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I I I, I is it, if someone out there knows something. I'd like them to tell me. It's you know. One of the wonderful things we got we have communication. Is there a reason we can't communicate? Well probably. So with this one what we can do, because this is gonna be the neck, we can just hide it behind her. We don't actually have to worry too much about bending bending this in. That could that could, that could go up here if we really wanted. It doesn't really matter. Because we just whack that behind the chin, like you know, well, behind the face. And then we can bend and as we wish, what will be our neck? I'll sort of bend that the other way, I think. My neck is not thin. It never has been. Right. There we go. Alright, so we've got, a, we've got a neck that's white. That's not going to be very helpful. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, so. Going to hit fill. Going to hit that button. So this is fill. That's gradient 1. That's gradient type 2. So radial and linear. Okay. They are kind of what, well, they are what they say on the tin. I'm going to do that. So that gives me that one. I'm actually going to select linear. I'm going to play around with this a little bit because I'm bored. Because I like this idea. So I'm going to go here. We're going to go here. Okay. So the idea being that my head is above my neck. There's a little bit of darkness. In this case at the moment it's stubble because I haven't had a shave. Because meh. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to bring this up. So I've now got. I've now got the system showing with without the yeah, with the alpha on. I can just then bring this slightly up like this. There we go. Perfect. We'll have that like that. That's fine. And we've put a gradient in. So we now have two gradients. That's fine. Uh, done that wrong. Don't know why that did that. That gone right why has that gone radial? Should be linear. Oh well. We'll work we can work. We'll work either way. That doesn't make any difference. Why is he jumping around like an idiot? Oi. Can you 
Come down. Here we go. Out that way like that. Coming here up slightly. There we go. Perfect. That's fine. That's perfectly fine for what we're what we're after. Okay, so now I have a I have a decision to make. Do I want to be in a t-shirt or do I want to be in something else? Um, and realistically, I don't know. I'm going to draw me in a shirt. Because why not? I can come up here. Come back down. Down. And boom. There we are. I'll set white. That'll wipe that out. Beautiful. And then we can start by doing some of this. There we go. And remember, very rarely is any of this ever actually just a straight. All right, we'll bring, bring that out. We'll put the new one in there. Do that. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Maybe not. It's fine. All right. That's that's the start of our of our shirt. Doesn't sound like too bad, does it? Do I want to put in a tie? Would I wear a tie? Yeah, I would wear a tie. I don't think I've worn ties. I will just put that in there like that. I'll put that in here. My glass. Like that. I'll bring that out a little bit. What I am going to do. What I am going to do is go draw in the rest of the, the body that's missing. Point, point, point. Bring that here, down here. Coming around about here. Up to here, and then across. There we go. I'm going to put that in a white shirt. I'm going to bring it to the back. And then we're going to bend. Come on. What is going on? This one should have been happy. Why are you not happy? We will get there. We will get there, guys and girls. We will get there. Right. Something like that. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, man, that's gone badly. Right. Let's bring this one up here a bit. Bring that. Bring that in. Bring you in. Oh, oops. Bring you in like so. And we'll bring shoulders out. Shoulder. Oh, stop. Right. And there we have it. We have, well, a bloke at the moment without a tie. I'm going to sort the tie out. Let's sort that tie out. Okay, and I'll bring this back in. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna do. Oh, I always, I'm always the purple threat, so I'm gonna do myself a purple tie. What I can do is I can turn off the stroke paint if I wanted to. That will basically 
take the outline away. All right. In this case, I don't want to take the straight plane off. I want to leave it there. I just want to lessen it slightly. I'll take it down to 0.1. It was at 0.265. We'll just take that down, and then we can just finish off our tie. So somewhere like that, to that, to that, to that. There we go. Beautiful. Turn that down to 0.1. Beautiful. Curve this in. Wonderful. Yeah, slightly curve the tie. Get the tie for that. How we how we try to wear them and never straight. Okay, so that one's like that. We're gonna do fill, hit fill, and then what we're gonna do? Slightly, ever so slightly change the colour of like ever so slightly, just a slight hint. I want to get like a I want to get like a half a shade. That's what I want, just a, just a little bit. Right, there we go. So, now we have our, effectively a logo. Or we have just a character. So, we've got a character. We've got, we've got a couple of choices at this point. We could get a circle. Now, if we want to be really pedantic, set that to 111, by 111. There we are, beautiful, perfect. Stroke. We put the stroke paint on and we switch it to black. What should happen if we have the right one <laughs> right one enabled? What should happen if we put the stroke paint on there and we put it at uh, three? We're gonna get a barrier like that. And then send it all the way to the back. We've got a Somewhat circular logo, somewhere like that. There we go, beautiful. There we are. We've got a lovely, a lovely little circle bit. Not overly happy with the colours, so we're going to look at the colours. What we can, what we could do. I reckon if we turn that into a kind of gold. Yep, like that. Liking that at the moment. And we're going to turn that into a silver. So that way we don't have two purples that clash. Just because we're using the same colours. And the one thing we need now is the name. So put that in there. Because it's me. It's Ferret Labs. Beautiful. Control A will select all. Or you can go up to edit, select all. And it'll do everything in there for you. Uh, you want to make sure you only select the words though. We don't want to select everything. There are two ways you can manipulate the size. So if you want to not distort the the actual words and the letter font and distort it out of place, you can just go in, double select everything, double click, go in on there, font size, and just click font. And there we are, we've got that down there. If I now click this, I can lower this down a little bit, like so. There we are, beautiful. I'm not happy with that. I really, you know, I, I want, I, I want to, uh, I want to have that in, for a start, I want to have that in purple. Favourite colour, guys. It's just my favourite colour. That's all it is. And then I'm going to bring this in, and we'll go right. I want black, and we'll go that stroke style. What happens if I put up 0.3? Five. That's making a difference. What about if we go one? Uh, too much. Too much. Point seven. Oh, it's got. I reckon points. Point five. Point six. Yeah, do that's all right. There we go. So we we can kind of outline ourselves. There we go. Beautiful. There we are. Maybe you guys out there don't actually like the circle. You think circles are not your thing. You don't want them. I'm going to get rid of the circle. Let's get rid of that circle for a moment. We're going to go... We just have to have to have a bit of a think. And we're going to put ourselves a nice shield in here or something. Something like that. We're going to do a similar sort of thing. So, straight paint. Yep. We're going to put that up to uh, three. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be five then. 
Ooh, is that a part of the arch? Right, yep, container deep, that's fine. Let's go fill it. There we go. And again, we can put this. We'll put, a, put a gold in there. There we are, like that. Beautiful. And send it to the back again. Uh, yep, something like that. There we are. Maybe we recenter that a little bit. Maybe we. Like that. Maybe we want to bend that out a little bit. And we can just select the whole lot. And we can move it as we want, wherever we want. Oh, there we go. Maybe you guys don't like the shield idea either. Maybe you don't. Fair enough. Put square. Boom. Okay, so. You guys are probably asking where about now, if you're paying attention. Why, where, possibly why, why has your square got rounded corners? <laughs> that is because by default, when I'm making anything QI, I, I either want a sharp corner if it's like a shield, or I want everything curved because it's more welcoming. If you want a sharp corner, you just put that up in, in Inkscape, you can do that. Um, so the one thing you've got to be aware of is stroke style. Because stroke style is important. If you want sharp corners, you need to make sure you've got the mitre joint. Otherwise, you're going to go for a bevel or you're going to go for a round joint. So, and, and if you do go for the mitre joint, which is the really square one, what you can do is you can still. Can I do that? You can still and you can turn it into a you can turn it into a circle if you really want it to, obviously. But you can you can bevel it out that way. Go straight paint. We're gonna go up that. So that was that's at eight. Why does that that does not look right, does it? Getting closer to it. We gotta do to the last one. No idea. Right there we go. We've, we've we've built various ones that we could use for a logo. Really easy, really simple, and we're using only three different types of tools with colours and bits. You guys can go through. You can change any of the colours you want. It's really nice and simple. The only thing that will catch you out because it catches me out every freaking time. If I want to change this outside layer, so if I want to change the stroke paint. If I go down to blue and I just go right on this one, I want blue. Change the background. Every time. Every freaking time. To do that, you can then get it back to where you want it. But now you've got to go and find the other one you want. Bit of a pain. Um, I don't believe that you can click that and then go, no you can't. You know, it's even clicking that doesn't do, doesn't do diddly. Alright, so bear that in mind, If you, I, I find sometimes if I want a particular colour and I want to get myself a colour match out, I'll do that. Right, if, I, if I want a very specific colour, I'll just start, I'll start drawing and go, right, I want this colour. And I'll make myself basically a paint pot set of what I'm looking at. And that's the way, you know, that is, if I'm really worried about it, that's how I'll work, because it's easier. Just realised we didn't actually do anything with the lips. Let's uh, go finish this off. We haven't actually finished our guy off yet. There we are. One set of lips. Let's just put a bit of a bit of a green. Yeah, we're a bit of green. 
There we are. I've not changed this colour. I've just put that in there. Yeah, that'd be all right. There we go. And that could be your starting logo. It could be anything. You, yeah, it could be anything you really want. And then if you want to take it a little bit further, we could do, you know, sort of get up, get up. If you can't remember here, like that. I'll bring that down like that. There we are. I could do it. Do the old fashioned. Something like that. And there you go. You've got, you know, it is a bit of a cliche. You know, it's a very big meme these days of what you're seeing, but it gives you an idea. You can, you can create whatever you need the way you need it. it it's quite versatile. It just takes time to learn. And yeah, if you've got money to go out and you can splash on getting that, getting that done for you, fair play. I'm not. I'm not going to argue. It's fine. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I've had to make a lot of my own, a lot of my own uh, icons, a lot of my own bits and bobs, and it, it's practice. It just takes time. You know, it just, it just, you just need to spend that time learning what you need and how you need it. And if if you're going to stand there and go, yeah, I, I want to build this the way I want it, do it. Learn it. Make it yours. I mean. I, th I can tell you, I've been on streams where you can tell that they've almost brought the stream. And I've been on there for like two minutes and gone, you know what? Nah. I don't want any of that. I'm not going to play. I'm not I'm not going to be with you guys because you're not, you're not drawing me in. If it's you, I mean, you buy stuff. You want, you will go out. There are websites out there as well. But if you want something that is just you, is only you, this may be the way for, for you. And maybe you want something else. Maybe you want a different, a different logo. Maybe you actually want a logo that's just just you know a shield or some letters. The best thing you can do for yourself is just have a five minute play around with Inkscape. Just try and learn and and do some bits to it, and then work out what you want and how you want it. So I mean, as an example, guys, okay. If I take, if I if I decide that I just want to put in a new logo, um, I'm just gonna go. Oh, perfect. So now I've got to decide what I want to do with that. Uh, I'm gonna pick a different font. What's Oswald look like? Uh, a little bit too mm, no. Uh, let's have a little look what we've got in here. What do we like the look of? Joker Man. Yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. Perfection. Right. Copy, paste. And the reason I pasted it is because I changed the... I changed the size of it earlier. And as I said, as I said before, if you drag, if you drag and extend it, unless you do it in a perfect manner, you're not going to get a very good um, response for it. In some ways, so we're going to move up that way. Move over here for a moment, and again, just do that. And maybe that is now your logo. Yeah. You know? uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe you like me, you like your purples. And the purple you like. Oh, I do. Uh, that's, that's a nice purple. I like that purple. There you are. 
maybe, maybe that's how you want to do it. We can shrink the two down. So it's offset with both of them. Do both. There we are. We move that in there like that. And now you get a different logo. You just need to play with it, guys. And, and similarly, same sort of thing. You could put that just in a circle. They're all legitimate logos, guys. Perfectly legitimate logos. You could... Um, it depends what you're after. It really does depend on what you're after. And you have to have... You have to have a bit of faith in yourself, I suppose. To be able to just draw... And just try out... Just try out little bits and bobs. Just give it that... That go. That... that you know... Yeah, you're going to make mistakes. Isn't that how we learn? Isn't that why we learn? We, we do these things to try and avoid mistakes in future. Oh, there we are. So, we can have this as a beaker. Be quite a good beaker, I reckon. Be alright with it. Be okay. There's a couple of things I'd probably do to this. One would be... Tap it off. Like that. Give it a bit of an edge. Like that. There we go. And then, down the bottom here. Just on the inside. Like that. There we go. Ah, uh, we'll go with a, a blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the stroke paint. Alright. And there we are. We've got like a, a beaker that sat there. Depends what you're doing, guys. How you want to do it. And, yeah, you know, ask us, talk to us. Hopefully this, hopefully this helps some of you guys out with how to design a logo. And getting yourself started. And I, I use this for everything. Everything you can see on screen right now with one exception. And that one exception that you can see right on the screen right now is the Humble Bundle icon in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. That was provided by Humble Bundle. I just changed the colours with their permission. So, pretty pretty cool bunch of guys for that sense. They let us change the colours to go with the colour scheme, which is excellent. Yeah, I can't, can't fault anyone for that. Everything else is actually drawn by me, including the Twitter logo. Because I couldn't find the Twitter logo the way I wanted it, how I wanted it, and where I was happy with it. So I made my own. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. But it's the same sort of process, guys. Same sort of thing. You just need to have that, have that A, the inspiration to do your, uh, do your own drawing. And work out what you want and how you want it. And you just need to have the, the time and patience to just sit there and go, right, uh, we're going to just draw this, just going to draw this out. Uh, right, we go here, here, uh, 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 something like that. We'll be back to here. Uh, back up. And to there, I reckon. Okay, yeah, that looks brilliant. And uh, we're going to make him dark blue. There we are, beautiful. We can just, you know, we're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. As the old saying says, a man that makes no, you know, a man that makes nothing, or a man that makes no mistakes makes nothing. It's a truth. Whether people like it or not, it is a truth. You can't, you can't really avoid it. It is an absolute truth. Because yeah, if if you if you achieve and attempt to do nothing, yeah, you make no mistakes. I've not done anything either. Um, bring you down like that. And there we go. We can ha we can have that as a as a sort of Twitter logo, if we wanted. It's not quite exact. 
Um, but you can see that, you know, a bit of practice, you guys can, you know, 100% you guys can draw whatever you need, however you need it. There, there's no, I mean, what I could do is I could, I want to make my life really easy and have that curved without a problem. If I select that one and just delete it, there we go. Nice and relatively simple. Um, if we want to add, uh, so we want to add another one in here. If I go in here and I just go like you. And we bring another one and we bring that back. There we go. Bring them down a little bit. We're going to curve that one. We're going to curve this one. Curve that one. Okay, we've got some weird going on here. What have we got? Okay. That's better. That's better. You, you can do stuff like that. You can genuinely just, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna. You ha you have the option to build it as you need, and then you've got the one last bit that you got to put in, which will do like that. Bring it up. Oh, I'll get my aim right. That'd be helpful. And we're going to set that one. It's been really, really pedantic about it. <laughs> Fill. And we just copy that, make sure it's the same color. And there you go. It is that simple, guys. You can create, create a logo as you like. Obviously, that is the Twitter logo or a variation thereof. But you can change, you can create it, you can do whatever you need to do. You know, there, there are people out there that I, I think. I think we just need to take the time to work out what what we what we want in our in our streams and what we want as our logos. Um, people, I suppose, people like me that just sit here and you say, oh, "Do it this way." Just boom, just ta -da, You know, I've I've had practice. I have had practice at doing this. I've done a lot of stream building. I've done a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, design work recently. I've, you know, and as an example, I've started up my own Redbubble shop. You can see on the screen below, you can see you're watching on Twitch at the moment. You can see that we've actually created a um, Teespring shop as well. Uh, wait, I've actually got to put the Red Redbubble one on there at some point. But it's it's down to you what you want to have as your logo. Um, I'm, you know, I'm happy going, oh, I want, I want to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to try this out. And we just give it a bash and just work out roughly what we're after. And I think, I think part of it is just people are, I don't know, maybe they're afraid, afraid of what people are going to say on the internet. I wouldn't do it that way, I wouldn't do it like this. We all have our varying opinions. Do it the way you're happy with, guys. It's the secret. I think that's the secret to life in many respects. Just do it. Do what you're happy in the way you do what you do. I mean, if you get your aim right, it would always be helpful. <laughs> Just bring this one down a little bit. So I mean, oh, maybe maybe that needs to come. That's it. Yeah, something like that. There we go. That's, that's, as I say, not, you know, our faces aren't normally perfect, so I'm going to do that. And we're going to do that. There we are. Something like that. Beautiful. And we can put put those in.
some of the like advice. Yeah, you know, we can depends it depends how sort of pedantic you want to be, so we prefer it. Tell you what. Let's let's make this an anime style bear just for a laugh. Just because well, yeah, just because Oh, got that slightly wrong. That's not a problem. Again, making mistakes. You can correct your mistake. Once you've connected the links up, you can delete the one bit that's a problem. And it's not going to be such a problem anymore. So, you know, don't, don't fret about the stuff that you make mistakes on. And I'll be honest, for what I'm going to do, I'm going to bend that one in. I'm going to bend this one in slightly. Bend that one down, that one there. Beautiful perfection. Gonna color that in. Actually, want a gray. Yeah, I do something like that. There we are. Beautiful. So that's gonna be our eye. Bring this out. Uh, yeah, great. Got orange eyes. Say hello to our orange eyed bear. This time I'm going to use the radial gradient. Okay, I'm then going to edit the gradient. So if I click down again and then click back up, the center spot for the gradient, I want it as black. Our irises are black, you know, or thereabouts. And then all I do is just bring, just bring it out a little bit. Oh. So if you want an idiot and you don't click the wrong button. You can do that, and then you can go. All right, I want to go to this one, and I'm going to bring the uh, I'm bringing the coloring back up. What I could do, I'm going to bring that in. Something like that. There we go. Beautiful, perfection. That's what we're after. Oh, so, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so we've got that sort of thing going on there. All right, we're then going to get line drawing slightly longer. Just going to do the one line. All right. I'm going, I'm going for a particular type of look here. And lay that on there. Then I'm going to go stroke style. And I'll up that to one over three. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. There we are, lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to shorten that one in. And we can just copy that, paste it. Horizontal it a little bit. There we are. There we go. It's that easy, guys. Just spend a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. You can look up streams and how how certain drawing styles go, the way they the way they maneuver, the way they they color their art, how they line their art, that sort of thing. And you can you can make things really pop if you want to. I I am still learning. Always will be learning. This is just a really quick. How do I get? How do I how do I get a logo? What do I do for a logo? And I'm drawing stuff for myself. Really, I'm dra just drawing stuff for a logo that may inspire you. I'm happy to help you guys. If you guys got a got a channel that you want want to go through and have a look at and have that sort of hey man. What, what, what thoughts can you come out with? Always happy to have that little chat. Get you onto the Discord channel. Get you into, get you into, onto the stream. We we'll have that sit down and have a chat. Maybe we'll do it live. You know, some a little bit of a quick draw up. Sometimes this can be really helpful. A little bit of a brainstorm. 
don't be afraid to draw something. And as I say, practice. So, like you guys have seen me today, I've drawn, I've drawn a version of the Twitter logo. Not the Twitter logo, it's a version of it. My interpretation, if you like, of it. Before I go any further, I'm going to say hello to a few people that are lurking in chat. So, we're going to say hello to Academy Impossible, another TT viewer. Commander Rook is back. Hello, Commander Rook. Uh, love your work, by the way. Discord for streamers, Feet, Miscellanity, and we have streamers Discord server. Guys, thanks for popping in. It's, it's brilliant to see you all here. Um, all helps. Just if you're if you're able to, you guys, if one of you can just hit likes, of, you know, just the like button, just that follow button, always helps. I am trying to get to affiliate at some point. We've been doing this a long, long time. I'm obviously still learning. I'm obviously still making mistakes. Um, but that's part of what we need to do. We need to grow and we need to learn as a group. I don't think there's anything more in this that I can really take you guys through for a logo design, which is what I put down. And, yeah, hopefully you guys are going to have a fantastic Sunday. I know some of you, many of you are going to be watching the football. I have a promise to keep, so even though I hate football, I absolutely loathe the game. I've never liked the game. I'm going to be watching the game for the first time. Uh... What's that? It's been, yeah, 1996. It's been five years, five, six years. So I'm going to be watching it for the first time in a long, long while. And, yeah, potentially we'll be on here commentating about it because I think that's I think that was part of the promise is that I would do that. So you guys may get to watch a really bad game of football and listen to me whinge about having to watch a really bad game of football while I play Rocket League. So I'm, I'm going to cheat. I'm, I'm going to have another game going at the same time, just so I can feel a little bit more uh, happy about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously whack a comment in. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us in the Discord channel. You can find us in the uh, Facebook channel, which hopefully... Oh, that actually still... I can't remember what we dis... Well, well, so that's the default. Not that it really matters. There we go. So you can find us here. Twitch for beginners. Really do recommend. Just drop by. Say hi to them. You know, I do lurk in the streams periodically. I am there. All these lovely people are there. They are there to help. We help each other. And with that, we will grow. Um, we network. We make a community of ourselves and our friends and our people that are out there. Hopefully you guys have a good Sunday. All the best to you all. And uh, we'll see you soon. Until next time. You've been watching a Ferret Labs broadcast. Please consider subscribing and liking. Thanks for stopping by.